Hey guys, welcome back. Just want to do a real quick unboxing of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, the Creator Combo. Um, I've watched a lot of reviews, ordered one. Um, this is not sponsored, although if DJI wants to send me stuff, I'm happy to take it. But just want to kind of show you what's in the box, how it comes, and real quickly I'll get it set up and uh, start using it. So. So in this box um, comes with uh, the Pocket 3, the case, uh, mic transmitter, um, the handle, battery handle, the tripod, uh, looks like a USB-C cable, carrying bag, um, DJI two clip magnet, a windscreen, wide angle lens, and then a wrist strap. So there's all the stuff that comes with that. And I am not a photographer by any means. I've used a couple cameras when I do my videos, a lot of my phone. Um, so box one, nothing in there, just, just the case itself. We'll open this up to kind of see what it's like. Protective cover. And I'll show you, you can see in there, it has spaces for the black pro mist um, as well as the wide angle lens, but not the any other lens or accessories. So, but a nice case, feels good, a rubbery feeling. DJI always seems to do a nice job with their quality. So I'll put that to the side. Get that out of the way. So here's the bag. Um, and surprisingly, I don't say surprisingly, but really nice waterproof zippers or water resistant, I don't want to say they're proof. And the bag has a really nice texture to it. Um, this is a nice, this is a very nice bag. I, I'm just kind of surprised by this. Um, so we're, we're learning as we go together here. So there's the unit itself. Uh, rubber or a plastic here. Protective screen cover. Um, one thing I will say I liked and I looked into uh, the Pocket 2 and even a Pocket 1 was I love how it hides the lens. So when I do this coverage for golf or all kinds of things, I like it that actually the lens is hidden and protected. So that's a neat feature for me. Okay, what else is in this bag? So it looks like we have. Looks like this is part of the base. Yeah, I think this is just so you can do screw other things into. A lot of a lot of uh, USB-C threaded. Must be the release of these as well. So neat. That's neat. They really jam things in here. This is the mic windscreen. Looks like something else. So there's the windscreen. So this is different. So I have the DJI mics. That's what I've been using. And I just show you. Here's the one I have. Um, I don't have the windscreens in front of me, but a little different setup with these. So it'll be interesting to see how much I like the new one versus the old one, and just the carry handle. So put that to the side. The windscreen to the side. A lot of USB-C cable. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm going way too slow here, but I, this is new, so I'm not really sure what I'm looking into here. Um, we're looking for. So the battery grip, I can see. Um, same material, kind of a rubbery plastic. I'm not sure if that's rubber or not, just the plastic. Um, but I like the grip. This is the larger version of that. This is, um, I would imagine, a tripod. 
These bags aesthetically are very cool, but they are not the easiest. I mean, that is like super glued on there. Not the easiest to open. So that is the tripod. Again, the same kind of texture has rubber ends here. This is definitely an improvement over the last version. Um, I mean, DJI is really killing it these days with their stuff. I really like it. So here's the small transmitter. Um, let me pull out my other one. So I'm wearing one. So aesthetically, they look alike. Obviously, one is um, clear. So the wind muff or windscreen. So it just kind of pops on. Wow, that's very different. Okay, how do I get that off now? Well, this pulls off. So, again, this is new. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so Larry, uh, the male goes into the female, just like that. It's neat. I, I actually like the clear. It reminds me, again, I'm old. Um, not super old, but it reminds me of uh, when we had pagers back in the day. You could get different cases, like the clear and different colors, and that's what it reminds me of. I'm trying to see aesthetically what's different. It's a little different ports. USB charging there. Power on and off. So one thing I'll say that I'm disappointed in, and I, I don't know for sure, and maybe I'll have to tr do trial and error here, is I use a uh, different mic that I attach to this, and I don't see how I can do it. Um, but like I said, I'll try. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll fit in there. Let's try that. So I have my lab, lab or lab mic, however you guys want to pronounce it. There's one of my other. So here's the mic I normally would use. Um, so maybe, I mean, it sure feels like it fits. Um, I have to test that out, but that would be great if this actually would work because um, then I don't have to reconfigure all this. So pretty neat. Okay, I'm going to get all my stuff out of here. So these, I don't know. Okay, so this one has its separate. Put that mic and that stuff out of the way. Let me turn that mic off. The DJI system is really neat. If you've never seen one of these um, case charges, it's great. I absolutely love this. I mean, 300 some bucks, but well worth it. Okay, so did I miss anything else? Yes, it looks like I've got a couple other things in here. Now the hard part's gonna be, can I get any of this stuff back in? Okay, so that looks empty. Those are empty, okay. Again, real happy with the case. Boy, really, really shocked me there, DJI. I mean, I don't know why I'm shocked. All their stuff has always been super high quality. So this looks like one of the lenses, I'm assuming. Oh no, this is a magnet um, for this. There we go. So if you saw that, that's just, just the magnet. Wow, that magnet is on there. My other ones are not that strong. So that's a magnet for that one. This must be the wide lens. I'm telling you, these bags are serious. Uh, yeah, just the magnetic uh, wide lens. So I don't think this thing will turn on. I imagine the battery is dead. Oh, let's see. Get it set up, we'll go to English. So what I'll do is I'll get this set up and then come back and then we'll show you the rest. All right. All right, so we're back. We've updated the software, as you can see. 
I put some of this stuff together. So I just put the tripod on the larger battery pack. Still left the stickers on. So what I had to do, and I'll show you guys real quick, it took about three, four minutes. Just had to update uh, my system uh, with the DJI software. It literally took about a minute. Um, that's about where we had finished. Um, so swipe from left to enter playback. Oh, I have to enter my SD card. Okay. So lucky I have, I don't know, a bazillion of these. So I show you, I think it goes, let's see where this guy goes. Yeah, I know it goes in here somewhere. That doesn't feel like that's right. So let's try that. So I'm, as you can see, logo facing logo here. Snaps in, okay go back to this swipe right to change image and audio parameters okay so how do I oh there we go it's like gimbal mode rotate gimbal Okay, so it's basically telling me how to do all this stuff. Perfect, that's what I was trying to get into. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. So custom modes, rotate, brightness is all the way, I'm gonna turn that down. I don't need it to be 100. Enable selfie, that's neat, love that. Wireless mic we'll set up later. And let's go back to that. Face auto detect, dynamic framing, all kinds of neat things. It's gonna take me a little, a little, a little while to get used to. I, I, I played around with the two and the one. Um, there we go. So now it turns around for me. I like the face tracking. I really like the system. There's the zoom. I'm assuming that's the record button. Yeah. So that's kind of neat. So zooming in, zooming out. I know you guys can't see all this here. I'll turn it this way. Stop recording. Resolution, let's go to 4K. Frame rate, let's go 25. Swipe down. Okay, now we're getting the hang of this. So it shows you here, you can see on there the battery, um, the face is enabled, 49% battery. Really neat. Um, I'll kind of stop back in um, and kind of what my thoughts are, but initial um, box opening is really what I wanted to do. Uh, this is what I'm going to try to start shooting a lot of my videos and reviews on. I wanted something separately. I have two huge cameras that I hate lugging around besides my phone. So this was kind of a neat thing that I wanted to kind of start and try. I've used the two, not extensively, but a good amount. Um, but again, wanted to really see if, if this would work. This was, I think I paid $689 or $669 for it. Um, I really do like it. I like the setup. I, I do am a little creeped out. This reminds me of uh, the movie with the robot uh, from years ago. Uh, but I do like the system. So we'll see how it goes. I'll report back. Um, but just want to do a real quick kind of initial boxing of what I thought, the quality. I like it. I, I would have liked these to be rubber, maybe a little different material than plastic, but it's nice. Everything's been upgraded um, from the two. Um, really everything. Like I said, the rubber feet to the larger battery, to the microphones, to everything. Now I saw in Europe, they have an attachment where this goes on. Um, I don't know why we don't have it. Maybe it's an accessory um, they sell. Let's see if I can get this little guy on. So if you haven't used the DJI, it's literally just magnetic. So it's kind of a neat um, thing. It just literally, everything just sticks to it magnet-wise, which is kind of an interesting, um, 
So again, just an initial boxing. I know it's kind of a dumb video here for a lot of people, but just want to show you what it's like for a novice to kind of open this up, get it started. Um, and again, pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to use this. I'm excited. Obviously, there'll be somewhat of a learning curve, but I really do like it. And I love the tripod. I love how it's set up. I love everything about this. I will say this, and uh, then I'll wrap up. DJI has uh, really kind of done a really nice job with the quality of materials. Um, this bag is almost like a waterproof material with a zipper. This is great. So I was using a lot of different cameras, and one of the things I hate, and people ask me all the time, why just stop doing on the golf courses? And again, this isn't a waterproof thing, but you know, bringing uh, any large camera out is a pain in the ass. Um, recording golf, let alone anything. And I love that it's this small, it can fit into my golf bag um, and have all this stuff really all I need. So I'm, I'm super pumped and I'm really excited about using this um, for everything. So again, we'll report back. I'll let you guys know really what I think of it long term. But for now, initial boxing, I'm impressed. I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.